Okay, so now we have our fibers all cleaned up. And I just want, I brought my new kitchen fiber out so I could show you, remind you exactly what a new fiber looks like. You see how all the fibers are nice and individual. And we'll, we're never going to get them that way again, but we can help our mitts out. Um, so this is the bathroom one that I had in the um, solution the other day, trying to get it out because it had been used inappropriately by someone who borrowed it and it ended up in an oven. So it's really gray, um, but this is about a year and a half old, so I still got a lot of, of wear, uh, wear in it. So I'm just going to try and revive it a little bit. So I'm going to brush the fibers. Now I like this old um, scrub brush that I used to use probably on my hands and knees. Um, and you're just going to gently brush these fibers. Now you all remember when we tell you how to clean, we're saying use circular motion so you can go into all those microscopic pores. Well, this is what happens to them. They all get kind of bunched up, kind of like dreadlocks. And so we just want to refresh them up and give them a little brush so you can see the difference of what this one looks like and what this is looks like. This is not terribly bad, um, but this is just going to give it that more oomph. And I've got another year and a half or so out of this glove yet to go. Um, so I, I don't do this very often. Uh, maybe every three or four months, maybe five, depending on how much I've been using it, how much, you know. You won't have to ever do the soft side. It's only the extreme sides on any of the gloves. So the bathroom, the kitchen, um, you can do a face glove now this one or this is a body glove sorry this one I just took out of the recycle bin I wanted to see if I what I could do with it but I think somebody recycled it for a very good reason so if your, if your fibers are starting to look like this even though the uh, the uh, indicator bar that really doesn't show that I've wash this or somebody's washed this very much so what's going to happen with this bar you can see the black and the blue so the blue will stay there and this black will fade to this color and actually when I look really look at it it is starting to fade so eventually this whole bar would be blue um, I'm hoping you can see all this right there so and there's other things on this um tag that you really want to uh, look into because it tells you where it is this is skin care it tells you whether you can use it wet or dry so there's a um a teardrop a water drop that has no x in it uh, so the only fibers that you don't use the um, water with are like the dust fibers and the, and and the lint fiber which i'm going to use in a minute and the other ones here, it tells you how to wash it between 40 and 60. No bleach, no, no dryer, no ironing, and no fabric softener. So, please, if you forget where this belongs, it tells you everything you need to know. Now, these fibers here are from my combis. This is my old combi, so it's about six years old. This is my new combi, so it hasn't had as much uh, wear because it's mostly used for demos now. So I can still brush it up. But you can see that I've had it in a washing machine with some stuff that made some lint. So I'm going to take my lint glove and just give this a little brush up. And it will take all those little lint things. So this one, I don't know where the heck I had this one washed, but this is really nasty. So if it won't come off just with the lint glove, then you're going to brush it up. Now you can use a fingernail brush because everybody probably has one of those and they're readily available at the dollar store. Look at that, that's so fast. And then just give it, if there's any extra lint left around from the washer, it's all gone. Another thing you could use is a scrub. This won't get as deep as something like this will or my scrub brush, but it, it will do a decent job just giving yourself, um, your fibers a little uplift. Now, I know I showed you what a new fiber looks like. If your fibers are starting to look like this, please give me a call. We're going to send this one back to Austria to have a new life as a car seat or playground equipment. This one, they're starting to be threadbare. It needs a new life. This is an old floor fiber I rescued this year. I think it's over 10 years old, she said. 
and it wasn't working. So she has wasn't using her mop as well as she should. So anyway, there's um, a bit of advice about your, your uh, fibers to keep them up and working good. So I'm just going to finish this glove and put it back in my uh, basket where I keep all my um, other tools. Now, don't get anything really... There's some animal defurs out there that could really scalp your fibers, so don't get anything too strong. There's some acute um, and nice cat uh, defuzzers that will work on this stuff very good. There's also, if anybody's a sewer, there's a Velcro defuzzer that works really well on these and won't hurt them either. So, we're back in action. Let's all have a good day.